even then did you think that that that, that the response will be as brutal um, as it has been early on we understood that Israel is engaged in a vengeance campaign early on we knew too well this is not about eliminating Hamas it was clear to us as Palestinians uh, it was clear to us that Israel wants to create a new reality and ethnically cleanse Gaza and push Palestinians outside of Gaza. It was clear. Actually, they told us this. Uh, my own sense of fear was assured when I saw one political leader after the other show up to Tel Aviv, provide political cover. In some cases, church leaders coming to provide theological cover, make sure to tell Israel we will pay the bill. And now they want to convince us that they are somehow concerned or not pleased with how Israel responded. So when I saw them coming, I, we realized now Israel has the green light to commit a genocide. And that's when we began pleading and calling, uh, even as I said, from October and early November, uh, a genocide is going to happen, stop this, stop this. No one listened. Actually, we were accused uh, of not having concern for Israel's future and so on, and this is only self-defense. Uh, now it's been 130 days. Are they willing to admit that they were wrong? Uh, and it's going to be too late anyways. Uh, and this is why, you know, you've heard us and you've heard me saying you're complicit uh, to these leaders, whether uh, politicians or whoever, when you're silent, uh, when you didn't see this coming, even though we told you and the Israelis themselves told you what they were doing, you're complicit. You're complicit in all of